Hard drives were first introduced by IBM in 1956. A hard drive uses magnetism to store data on a rotating platter. A read-write head floats above the spinning platter, reading and writing data. Kind of like a record needle is to a record. The faster the platter spins, the faster a hard drive can perform. Typically, laptop drives today spin at a either 5400 RPM revolutions per minute or 7200 RPM though some server-based platters have been known to spin at 1500 RPM. The major advantage of a hard drive is that it's capable of storing lots of data cheaply. These days, one terabyte of storage is not unusual for a laptop. However, the cost per gigabyte is hard to calculate nowadays since there are so many classes to consider. Though it is safe to say that all hard drives are simultaneously cheaper than solid state drives as a comparison, though it is safe to say that all hard drives are significantly cheaper than solid state drives. As a comparison, the popular Western Digital Black 1 terabyte goes roughly for $69 on most websites, while the Samsung 850 Evo one terabyte solid state drive goes for about $319, nearly three to five times the price of the Western Digital Black Drive. So if you want cheap storage and lots of it, using standard hard drives is definitely the more appealing way to go. When it comes to appearance, hard drives essentially look the same from the outside as a solid state drive. Hard drives predominantly use SATA interfaces. The most common size for a laptop hard drive is the two and a half inch form factor, while the larger three and a half inch form factor is used in desktop computers. The larger size allows for more platters inside and thus more storage capacity. Some desktop hard drives can store up to six terabytes of data. That's all great, but what about the solid state drive? What do I get if I'm willing to fork out the extra cash on one of these solid state drives. You're probably familiar with USB memory sticks. Solid state drives can be thought of as an oversized and more sophisticated version of the humble USB stick. Like a memory stick, there are no moving parts in a solid state drive. Rather, information is stored in microchips, while a hard disk drive uses a mechanical arm with a read-write head to move around and read information from the right location on a storage platter, this is the main difference that makes solid state so much faster. A typical solid state drive uses what is called NAND-based flash memory. This is a non-volatile type of memory that is, of course, an essential characteristic of any type of permanent memory. During the early days of solid state hard drive development, rumors floated around saying stored data would wear off and would be lost after only a few years. Regardless, that rumor is certainly not true with today's technology, as you can read and write to a solid state drive all day long and the data storage integrity will be maintained for well over 200 years. So in other words, your data will outlive you. A solid state doesn't have a mechanical arm to read and write data, but instead uses an embedded processor or brain called a controller to perform these operations related to reading and writing data. The controller is a very important factor in determining the speed of the solid state drive. Decisions it makes related to how to store, retrieve, cache, clean up data determine the overall speed of the drive. Some other processes it manages are error correction and read-write caching, encryption and garbage collection, to name just a few of the simple processes that it does. Yet suffice to say, good controller technology is often what separates an excellent SSD from a good one. The example of a fast controller today is the Sanfor SATA 3.0 six gigabytes per second solid state hard drive controller that supports burst speeds of up to 550 megabits per second read and write speed. The next generation Sanfor's 3700 family of controllers was announced late in 2013 and is quoted to reach a blistering 1800 megabits per second read write speed. The form factor of a solid state is actually the same as a regular hard drive. It comes in a standard of one and a half inch, two and a half inch, or three and a half inch sizes that fit into any of the housing connectors for the same sized hard drives. The connector that the SSD uses is still SATA. There are similar SSDs available that use what's called a mini SATA, M SATA, 
and fit into mini PCI Express slots of a laptop. Well, everyone, that is a brief introduction into what the difference between a solid state drive and a regular hard drive is. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a comment saying that you liked it, give it a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon because that really does help. Thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you in the next explanation.